ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. So I, I'm not a fan of seeing him at that weight, although I didn't watch yesterday. Um, but he did, did he win? He won, right? Yeah, he won. Did you see Deontay yeah. Wilder's weird video on the internet? No, what was it? Oh, man, you got to watch it. It's all, It's so weird. He talks about how Tyson Fury had, like, uh, rigged up his gloves and that they were, like, they were, like, cheating. And then he says Mark Breland, like, uh, I don't know, sedated his water or something. See, that's hard. I don't know. Like, it's, it's real I've, WWF. I've, yeah, I've trained with Breland, okay? I've trained with him. I got, like, you know, I, I used to visit my um, – my family members in New York and New Jersey and stuff. One of the really? greatest amateurs ever. Yes. Yes. And like, I'm so like, everyone's like, Oh, why would you stop that fight? I'm sorry. There is no one that is more that knows more about boxing that, that isn't in that position. To, like that dude made that call for reasons bigger than boxing and bo boxing fans need to understand that. Like there is no one more, capable of making that right judgment than Breland. And uh I thought that was just question you know like questionable. Like everyone hated that, which I obviously I understand why, but I doubt Breland put him in that situation. I doubt it. You know well, it's, I mean? it. To me it's like Mark Breland, no matter what you think of him, he's one of the most accomplished amateurs ever. He was a yeah. great pro. And it's like this is an asset for any team. He's been through yeah. so many situations. So when I heard that he was removed from the team, I thought that was an immediate red flag because this might be anyone that just doesn't go along with me is getting kicked out of the team. I agree. I agree. And Wilder's facing a tough thing right now, man, because I don't know if you can create the, the, the skill set that he's going to need at his age right now. To beat what to beat uh, Fury, you know, there's just a lot of tools that you're gonna need to do to be to be able to beat him. I mean, it's like it's like Ortiz, right? Ortiz and Wilder. Ortiz probably won every single round of the fights combined. However, it just takes one punch. But if that one punch doesn't land against Fury, and it has, but Fury was still able to get up. Like Fury's are, you know. It, I think he's just too, too much for Wilder. And I'm a huge fan of Wilder, but that skill set that he needs to be able to beat him, I don't know if you can just create it in, you know, two years. Well, I think the fact that the fight's no longer happening kind of illustrates that. The fight's no, the rematch is off. The time is expired. Yeah. So I think the fact that, to me, it looks like Wilder's next fight is probably going to be against Andy Ruiz. And that's going to be a tricky fight for Wilder because Ruiz is someone that moves his head. I agree. I agree. And Ruiz is, you know, he, he creates a lot of problems. I mean, he's, but he's his chin, you know, we don't know. I think if Wilder touches it. <laughs> the, but the thing about Ruiz is not a lot of heavyweights move their head. And he's no, no, really no. good at moving his head. And I've always, people have laughed at me, but before he beat Joshua, I thought, he would give Wilder a lot of problems because Wilder sells out and he moves his head. And I thought he had a chance to beat Joshua and people laughed at me, but I, I've always felt Ruiz is a bad matchup for Wilder because of the head movement, because Wilder jumps in so unconventionally, he could be in very bad spots. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think Ruiz might have a big problem though, putting his hands on Wilder. He's going to have to really get inside. I think that that's like, you know, Joshua obviously really, really kept his de de distance last time he fought him. Wilder is super long, and uh, I don't think he's as easy as to hit as a lot of people think. Like, even Fury, right? Fury didn't really get that one clean, huge shot. Like, everything was kind of in the back of the head, skinning by. Wilder is not as easy to hit, I think, as a lot of people think. You know? No, he... And, uh, he reminds me of Ryan Garcia, where people say they have bad defense, but if you look, they're not really getting hit. Like, Ryan Garcia yeah. knows how to not get hit by a right hand. Like, it looks like he's pulling straight back, but he has a little shoulder move 
where he's going to dip away from that right. And he'll take the left, but he's going to turn with it a little bit. But he's got some moves that protect you. So would you would you be – hello? Yeah. Well, would you be fair to say that you think uh, Ryan's the real deal? Well, I think that – yeah, I think he's the real deal. Okay. I, think I, 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 I personally have a problem with his opponents. I think his knockouts were against guys that fought way smaller. Um, I mean, that's Valdez. obvious. I mean, that's obvious. Yeah. Like, I'm saying he's the real deal because he had a good amateur career and his technique is fine. We just got to see if he's got heart. Because in the amateur, the fights he lost was when guys dogged him out. Brian Lua dogged him out. Like people that dogged him, he struggled with. 